What does authentic feminine leadership look like? Most business cultures were not built for women in the same way that they were built for men. This means that every woman at some point in her career has to calibrate herself to accommodate workplace norms. For many women, this is very uncomfortable. It feels inauthentic to them to brag or be forceful or hide genuine emotions, which is what accommodation feels like to them. The real bummer is that most of the time, this kind of accommodation isn't very successful anyway, because feminine stereotypes, especially in leadership, still penalize women for many of their strengths. However, in supporting hundreds of women and finding their authentic leadership style and voice, I've noticed something important. On the journey to authenticity, this kind of discomfort is temporary because finding your authentic style isn't about fitting in. It's about choosing to commit to a mission beyond yourself. It's about exploring yourself and choosing how you want to evolve and grow. It's about choosing how you want to be in order to create impact. And it's about choosing the path that feels right between who you are and who others need you to be. It's about accepting that the workplace culture is what it is. And yet, when you choose how you want to be, you can help shape it. And here's a big secret. This is the same path that men take when they choose to be authentic and lead at a higher level. Notice that choice is crucial to authenticity. There is no authenticity if you don't own your actions, values, and beliefs. Own them, and they're yours. What's your secret to authenticity? Share it in the comments below.